This is the story of Machiko Noguchi, the human predator. She was born in Japan and spent most of her childhood alone. One day in summer, she finds her father around the house when he wasn't supposed to be home. She then notices he committed suicide, and he tells her that he was fired from his job. As he dies, he tells her to regain their family's honor. As she then grew up lonely, she learned to adapt, which allowed her to survive future battles. As she was determined to succeed, she landed a job in the Chugusa Corporation and works her way up the ranks. This company is considered to be just as large as the Will Nutani Corporation. This company also deals with colonists on planets. She is then given an administrator job of a ranch and colony on Ryushi. Her placement was in Prosperity Wells, and during three months, she made no effort to befriend the colonists. Now at some point, she gains the favor of the ranchers and persuades the Chagusa Corporation in giving the ranchers a pay raise. Machiko and everyone stationed on Ryushi is then placed in the middle of a battle between a predator hunting party that arrives to fight aliens on this planet. It is during this battle when Machiko showed a great amount of courage and strength as she fought alongside one specific predator named Dashande. She gained his respect with her combat skills and even managed to kill an alien queen. After this battle, Dashande is critically wounded and manages to mark Machiko before he dies. He gives her his mark as a sign of respect. She's also given the name Small Knife. After this event, she returns to a normal life while keeping the alien queen head as a trophy, waiting for the day when Dashande's clan to appear as she believes they'll want to know what happened to him. The day finally arrives when Dashande's clan arrives and she is then accepted by them when they notice she is marked. And so she becomes the human predator. She stays with them and embarks on many hunts with them. During one big hunt in search of an alien queen, a time came when Machiko dishonored a young predator named Shorty by saving him from a xenomorph drone. Shorty should have died for his own careless mistake, but was unsaved by a human, which he still considers to be unworthy of being in their clan. Although the hunt was successful in capturing a queen, she disobeyed an order from the clan leader and was then deemed untrustworthy. Even though her actions prevented the failure of the mission, she is now seen as a risk in future missions if she chooses to act on her own actions instead of listening to the clan leader. As she looks back over the years she spent with the predators, Machiko starts to wonder if this is really her place. Back home around humans, she felt alone. It seems her decision to be with predators made no difference since she still feels like an outcast amongst them, no matter how many times she has tried to prove herself to them on many hunts. She has trouble deciding which life she must commit herself to, since she's put a big distance between herself and humanity. Now, when an experienced predator named Lightstepper crosses her path on the ship, she disrespects him by touching a colonial marine bandana that he uses as a bandage over his missing arm. Machiko is then instructed by the clan's leader, Topknot, to prove herself again by fighting Shorty, the predator she saved during a hunt for the alien queen. During this battle, Machiko's skill and speed proved to outclass Shorty for most of the battle. But then, due to outside interference, another predator grabs her ankle, which gives Shorty a chance to smash his heart's skull against Machiko's human-like head. Even though she wore a predator mask during the fight, she still felt immense pain from it. Even though her opponent cheated, he still kicked her out of the ring and won the battle. Because of this loss, Machiko is not allowed to partake in their future hunts for a while. She later learns of predators hunting humans and decides to make a choice. She kills predators on the ship and manages to escape as she races to help the remaining survivors. In doing so, she has abandoned the predator clan that took her in. She manages to arrive just in time to save the survivors and then she battles Shorty one more time, but this time she makes sure he gets an honorable death by her hand. It's at this point she finally decides to return to a normal life and was offered a job by Livermore Evanston on Bellatrix. He owned a hunting planet and gave her position as a safari guide to take people on hunts. She accepted the job. But her new life is then interrupted when a group of killer predators attacks a mining colony. The colonial marines seek out Machiko's help. She comes across another predator hunting party 
and defeats one predator in combat in order to open negotiations. They agree to work together and they eventually destroy the killer predator's headquarters near the end of the story. At this point of the story, a lone predator removes the mark Machiko received by Dashande. This then ends the human predator known as Machiko Naguchi. The story ends as she returns to a normal human life. So what did you think about Machiko Naguchi's story? She was the first human to ever have been marked by a predator. Put your thoughts in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, then subscribe to see more content around the alien and predator universe. Thanks for watching. My name is Asaglow, and I'll see you in the next video.